morning. Good morning. Welcome to D&E After 3 Adventures. And I am going to be documenting and videoing and just kind of bringing you guys along um, to the Star Wars Half Marathon Weekend. Took off this morning. Eddie's going to meet me in a few. I'm not quite sure playing that by ear. Um, but we have a few plans for this weekend. Um, I took off early, but I had a huge delay in uh, West Palm Beach. And um, just now I stopped at Fort Pierce, the plaza, where my boys used to um, really tear it up. They loved, we, that was my father's favorite plaza to stop at, to have pizza always even if we took off at different times that was our meeting point it's changed a lot all the plazas have changed but um, I'm going up the turnpike I will get be getting off on Osceola and going straight to the expo as we um, approach the expo I'll, I will um, I don't know maybe videotape in there. Hopefully it's not too packed. This weekend is not as bad. Um, but it's a beautiful day. Look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. It's really gorgeous. And um, so I'm going to be running the 10K and the half marathon, which is the challenge. It's called the first order challenge. I'm not really a Star Wars person. My son John, shout out to John, who kind of gave me a little tutorial um, last year. I'm an original Star Wars fan. Anyway, not doing the 5k. I don't think it's worth the, the 3 a.m. wake up three days in a row. We'll see. But um, like I said, I just stopped at Fort Pierce. I broke my fast. Um, I've been doing the 16 eight um, hour fast so now I have an eight hour window that I can eat it's been working out great maybe I'll do a video on that it's so good it's for uh, health reasons I've dropped a few pounds but really primarily it's for health reasons and I feel like a million bucks um, okay we'll catch you soon um, see you at the expo <laughs> Them all. Um, they all look the same. 
they used to be beautiful too I I mean they're vintage they used to have they have a lot of nostalgia when it comes to me and my family but onward Florida Turnpike North almost there look how beautiful Florida is I cannot wait for DNE after three adventures to hit the road we plan on doing a lot of these um, campgrounds that are all over Florida we have such a beautiful state and that is um, our goal to hit as many as we can we've got the fort coming up in May the fort coming up in June because I needed to um, hit the fort before um, the midsummer have other things planned and so we're gonna um, just do a bunch of things but we're working on um, some ideas and we've got to get the dogs situated to, to come with us but um yep here we go here we go here we go you might notice that I am on my phone again I put the GoPro in my luggage and it's not here it's packed back there in the trunk of my car and so I'm back to my little selfie with my iPhone with the voice issues I know I know I know matey I know I should be having my GoPro handy right here but I don't I don't even know how to do selfies with Pro with GoPro I guess I have to mount it but we'll we'll cross that bridge when I get there not there yet working on it working on it it's gonna get better so hopefully this is not too bad and we are at the second to last or is it the last one no canoe cruise last one nine miles and then the sun pass and then the exit for Osceola Parkway we will be soon at the exit of Osceola This has to be the weakest windshield wiper cleaner, but let's see, it might clean my, actually my automatic should have gone on, but yeah, it's taking it off. Okay, I take it back. It looks like it's taking the bugs off. There was so many bugs. What a great little service. Love it. See you in Osceola. Exiting on Osceola Parkway. Oh my god, there's a truck right in the way. We can't even see it. But just got to Osceola. Osceola Parkway used to be the best kept secret. Now it is the best traffic route. However, it looks pretty clear for Osceola. And the lights are brutal. Brutality but we're almost there, almost at the expo. So I made it, I had to make a quick pit stop at 7-Eleven to buy my waters, which I left, and that's very important, so I'm supposed to be hydrating. And so I have arrived. And the first thing, when you're running one of these marathons, or half marathons, or 5K, or 10K, or all of them, is you need to go get your number, your bib, your shirts, everything at the wide world of sports. So that's the first stop that I always like to make, um, which is the expo. Lots of construction going on here. We'll see. I don't know if, if this is traffic or there's a detour. I see a cl road close. We'll see. But we're going to turn left into the ESPN um, wide world of sports and then in the Johnson Center and the Champion Stadium and the field houses where they have the expo and all the vendors and I'll um, see you on the inside. <laughs> Yeah. 
so there's the, that beautiful new arena. Um, for the princess, they have things in there, but I'm gonna go pick up my packet. There's a lot of people. <laughs> Well, once again, folks, our layout is just a little bit different this year. We want to make sure you guys know exactly where you're going. If your first priority, and I'm Hi. Good that's fine. If your Hi. first priority is registering, picking up your bib and all that, you want to go straight ahead, past the blue, up the stairs. You'll see Champion Stadium on your left. The very next huge arena is the HP Fieldhouse. That's where you go to register, pick up your bibs and all that. The Beast Athletic Center, which you can see from here to your right. That is where the expo is, where all the vendors and all that. That's also the home of Run Disney headquarters in case you have any questions about transportation, etc. Lastly, this building on your right, the arena, that is the exclusive home now of all the Run Disney merchandise. So if merchandise is your top priority, as it is for many people, the arena is where you want to go. Right now, right here to this building to your right. If you want to pick up your bib and register first, straight ahead, past the globe, up the stairs to the second arena on your left, which is the HP Fieldhouse. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. of the best right here. Thank you. Thank you, volunteers. <laughs> Hi. The line's not that bad. That's the line for the official merchandise. This is just one section of this gigantic I don't know what that is. Okay, that's pre-sold items. Um, photo things there. And then, let's shop. Look at this place. It's not a shopper's. <gasps> oh, what's this? Oh, I'm at a whole bit, okay. Do or do not, there is no try. Walking, 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 walking. Some people just love all this stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna shop, and I'll be back. Wonderful. Oh, wow. So goofy. Come from the back where that guy was saying 
I'm heading in to collect the merchandise, the official merchandise. Now I'm going towards there it says runners. Gotta go there. but it's packed. People just love, uh, love Star Wars. our bids, numbers, shirts, and then that way, if I decide to go, there's another announcer, then I'm gonna, that's the other merchandise, the vendors, and I think I do have to go, I have something I need to look at, of course, and this is Race Ahead Pickup, love it. to get down there. And it's, you know, I'll go to the challenge back there. Usually I have to go to the 5k but I have bypassed the 5k and I am so happy that I don't have to have wait wake up at three in the morning three days in a row. I'm kind of happy about that so I'm going back there with this challenge to get my things. Finally, I'm heading towards the expo part. I thought I had gotten my shirt, but I didn't have to go to this building now to get my shirts, which are the, the shirts that I don't wear, but they're beautiful usually. And they're tech shirts, they're nice. They're really, really nice. They're a beautiful flag. God bless America. Um, so now I'm walking into this place for the shirt pickup and the exhibitors. Recovery bath bombs. Sweaty bands. I've got a bunch of those. I really do need a headband. I might get one if I can find one. And sparkle skirts. I heard they're fabulous. I don't have one. I have a lot of these belts. I need them. Those belts are the, no, not those. I don't have those. But they're wonderful. Let's see. Disney vacation club area and I'm gonna get my shirt right here at the challenge place and then I'm gonna head right there to see if I can sign up for another race
didn't get my package because it was so expensive. They were almost $200. Uh, no, I don't think so. I love this. Under the miles. Ah, uh, what other kids? Nah. I like this. Kind of want to run, kind of want to stay in bed. Typical me. This actually, you can really get some good deals, but sometimes not really. It all depends. So much to do. It's like a runner's paradise to buy things here. I usually don't use these boots, but um, they're very good. I'm going to show you which ones I buy a little later. This one I'm loving. Feed me and tell me I'm pretty fast. Yes, I love that. So, because I ran a half marathon prior to this one, there's something called the Kessel Run, which is when you do both Star Wars. So you have to wear that for the half that's coming up on Sunday, and they gave us this. So let's see. Let's see. What did they give us? What did they give us? Oh, look how cute. I don't really know what this is. Oh, a keychain. How cute. Very cute. And this is the medal for doing the light side, which was supposed to be the virtual half that they offered to those people. These were really leftover medals from the canceled Star Wars from California. You know, those were all canceled. All the California races were canceled. So, what they did is they made these medals into a virtual for those of us that were running the dark side. So this is called the light side and this and that was the dark. And today's is the dark side. Not necessarily today's, but this weekend's is Star Wars dark side. So nice. A little gift. this happened I'll share with you later but it happened and my bag with my goodies right here my number I put in there and my goodies so I'm on my way out heading to the hotel to check in it is so so hot at this time it is 1 55 and it's 86 but it feels like a hundred it's so humid and hot but beautiful the Sun is out the tents up for the water stations and the medic and all that stuff there's another one over there I don't see the porta potties but I'm sure it's coming oh there's a couple <laughs> there's only two there and I'm going to go to the all-star resort area right there and I never want to take this for granted I've been here so many times but this is my father one of my fathers my father's favorite was actually the contemporary until it became unbelievable and then he liked the Port Orleans that was his go-to but then I came into the picture with the reservations and I figured I need to go with the um, the reasonable and this is as reasonable as it gets here in DW so I'm gonna park and check in
where you wait for the buses to take you to the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. Right now it's kind of empty. Um, I don't know a big group of people here. This is where you just drive up. Check in. Already did it. So that was painless. Very painless. My room is ready. I, got, I actually got a, an, a text and I wanted to kind of change my room. I'm up front near where the buses pick us up at 3.45 a.m. Um, my wake-up call is going to be all set. And I'm all checked in. Going to go to the room and drop everything off and maybe walk a little bit. I just walked in and trucked this safari up. I still have waters to bring up, but this is the all-star sports. The music is the same and the movies is the same. It's just a door, a window, a little sitting area. Um, the TV, sorry, the lighting is terrible because I have not opened any windows or turned on any lights. Here we go. Um, you got two double beds. Um, I love this thing. It always comes in really handy with my sweaty clothes. And then the bathroom area. That light will turn on in a, in a bit. But it's it's nice and clean. Thank goodness. Oops, there I am. Um, bathroom, shower, all closed. And that's it. Little privacy curtain. Of course, I mean, I don't need that. And then the other direction. I just about lost my arms. I've got all my goodies in here. Um, my mug for my bone broth. Told you I'd share that with you guys later. And just all my stuff. I have to go back to the car. I actually have my running bag in the car and my um, water. A few other things, actually. There's, there's several things. My sneakers are on there, too. Alrighty.